Bernoulli's principle. So if we have a fluid like uh, air or water, uh, Bernoulli's principle tells us that as the speed of the fluid increases, the pressure in the fluid uh, decreases. So for example, if we have air and it's not moving, then it's at uh, normal average atmospheric pressure. But then if the wind is blowing, the uh, pressure in the uh, air will actually be lower. Now there's a very simple demo that you should uh, uh, go ahead and do, and that's just to take a sheet of paper and uh, just blow over the top and you'll see that the paper uh, rises. Now what happens is the you're blowing over the top so the air is moving uh, faster there uh, that will lower the pressure so then there's going to be a pressure difference because it's at just average atmospheric pressure on the bottom side so being lower pressure on the top side there's a pressure difference and a net force which uh, lifts the sheet of paper. A more dramatic example of this is when there's a very strong wind in a, a strong storm, then uh, that can create a pressure difference resulting in a force that would be large enough to lift tiles off of a roof or maybe even lift the entire roof off of a house. Uh, a similar example occurs in terms of uh, pressure difference uh, lifting uh, waves. So we see this in the uh, flapping of a flag or ocean waves where the uh, moving wind results in uh, pressure differences due to Bernoulli's principle and uh, we see this resulting wave motion. So here's a picture sort of illustrating how uh, waves could be built up by this um, effect. So we have the wind blowing and uh, say some ripples on the surface of the water. Uh, the wind is going to be going fastest at the tops and uh, the interior uh, troughs of the waves uh, are sheltered, that part of the surface of the water is sheltered uh, from the wind and so that uh, it remains at atmospheric pressure but the uh, crests are at uh, lower pressure and so the this pressure difference actually uh, lifts the uh, surface of the of the water and creates waves. Now let's uh, look at another example of uh, pressure differences. This one uh, may surprise you. Uh, you're going to see that I take this funnel and the ping pong ball and I am blowing. So I'm exhaling. I'm not inhaling. I'm blowing out as fast as I can. So even though I am uh, blowing, and you would you would at first think that that would blow the ping pong ball out of the funnel, uh, that uh, airflow actually uh, keeps the ping pong ball in the funnel. So what's happening is uh, as the air passes uh, the sides of the ping pong ball, that's where it's going the fastest. And so that is where we have low pressure. And on the bottom of the ping pong ball, that is actually blocked from uh, the uh, blowing. So that is at atmospheric uh, pressure. So this pressure difference now creates an upward force. And since the ping pong ball is rather light, that upward force is enough to uh, support uh, the weight and keep it inside the funnel. Uh, here's another somewhat surprising example.
So what's happening in this case is the um, wind, which uh, just the air blowing from the uh, hairdryer, um, that uh, moving air has lower pressure than uh, the uh, atmospheric pressure of the air in the rest of the room. And so there's actually a low pressure region uh, inside the airstream. And that uh, pressure difference between it and uh, the rest of the air actually produces a suction force that keeps the ping pong ball inside the airstream. And that's a force that's actually strong enough that uh, it uh, can uh, overcome the uh, gravity that would um, cause the uh, ping pong ball to, to fall out. Eventually, it, uh, uh, if you tilt uh, far enough, then uh, it, the force is not strong enough to keep it uh, inside. There's a similar effect that's seen if you have a, a fan blowing, it can support a uh, beach ball in the, in the same way, even if you uh, tilt the fan. Uh, again, a more dramatic example of this kind of uh, suction that would occur uh, due to a fast moving airstream uh, would be the uh, suction of a tornado, which uh, creates a low pressure uh, towards the center of the tornado where the wind is going the fastest. And that actually pulls uh, things into the tornado. This was a uh, plot device in the uh, original Wizard of Oz movie. So in uh, summary, uh, Bernoulli's principle states that for a fluid such as air or water, as the speed increases, the pressure uh, decreases. And a force can occur due to pressure differences. So if we have the speed of the fluid varying in different locations, then uh, those different locations will be at different pressures, and then the pressure differences uh, can produce a force. Uh, we saw several examples in this tutorial. Uh, some of the uh, practical examples would be how waves are created by wind and the suction that appears in a tornado. Uh, but the most important example uh, we didn't talk about, and that is aerodynamic lift. Uh, we didn't talk about it because it's such an important example that uh, we have a full tutorial devoted uh, just for that. So I'll uh, see you then.